I know this um, 5B is discontinued and everything, but honestly, I stand by it. It's still one of the uh, the best handling RC cars I've probably ever driven, fifth scale especially. It really behaves like a uh, like an eighth scale buggy. It's so nimble on its feet, and it is a heavy, heavy car, but you don't really feel that when you drive it. Um, I don't mind this thing being a single speed, Normally I like two-speed gearboxes because they're cool and the shifting sounds, but this thing is just so responsive and I mean if you follow me here you'll see the ramp. Like I'm coming and approaching the ramp at speed and this is the width of the ramp and this is how big and I'm telling you it's not really easy to uh, to kind of center it perfectly because obviously if you miss the ramp and you jump I'm gonna probably hit the Hummer or worse myself or my wife who's filming over there so um, it's a testament to how good this thing handles and yeah it's a shame uh, Losi discontinued the 5B uh, honestly this is such a, a great platform and I consider myself super lucky to to be able to, to you know to own one of these because finding them is insanely difficult and I know they make them in a brushless and brushless probably is more powerful and some people might prefer it because it's quieter and you can use it like in neighborhoods and stuff but I honestly prefer the gas, the smell, the refueling, the sound, the acceleration it's just so much nicer and I... have people ask me sometimes like how I keep these things in such you know great shape and it, it looks almost brand new it's not because I don't drive it honestly I bash the heck out of this thing as you can see here I'm not even jumping you know on ramps I'm just hitting a skate ramp or a dirt bike ramp just into oblivion and just landing wherever it lands and these shocks are phenomenal really uh, the 5B shocks are 
10 times better than the 5T shocks and even the aftermarket 5T shocks that I have these are way more powerful uh, than them and they really handle a lot of abuse um, I've put really lightweight kits through less abuse and I've had so much damage and breakage this thing honestly still looks magnific magnificent still looks brand new and yeah let's take a look underneath I just need to switch it off one issue one main issue with the 5B um, is the fact that the body is pretty tight over the engine and the electronics and I will say it doesn't dissipate heat very well so a lot of people what they do is they cut out the window and cut out holes in the side vents I honestly just use this top vent right here but I think I'm gonna start you know opening up some holes because I notice the performance of the engine you can tell when it starts to heat up and let me turn it off really it's just it's phenomenal and this this Bartlone pipe um, I used to always ask my friends like what's the hype with Bartlone why do you why do you guys get them they're so expensive I'm lucky that this came with the kit and I'm like you know what, what the heck I'll keep it and use it and it sounds incredible it sounds so freaking good I will say this it is ridiculously loud um, definitely not for neighborhoods you got to go to like an open field or open place somewhere this is not a pipe that you would use in like crowded areas it's insanely loud uh, I even keep earplugs with me in the pocket because um, some people might call me like a sissy or a I don't want to say the other word but yeah it starts with a P and uh, yeah I'm telling you uh, maybe one time two times you're like okay this is great but then after a while the sound just gets too loud and you actually start to get tinnitus or ear ringing so this thing is really really loud so yeah just wanted to you know take it out it's been a while since I started this thing I wanted to take it out and you know do some light kind of ish bashing with it and it never disappoints this is such a great kit um, again so disappointed that they that they discontinued it uh, for me I don't really care but I feel like people who are RC fans should have the option to own something like this because it is such a pleasure to drive and only a few people I barely know anyone that has a 5B that's that's gas powered uh, so yeah I consider myself one of the lucky ones to to own this beauty and yeah anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video on the Lozy 5B and as always I will see you guys next time ciao yeah. huh? your car looks like mini studio like it is a mini studio. it is that's the beauty of the Hummer and that's that's uh, that's the uh, what's it called that's why I like taking everything in the Hummer because it really fits everything not just the cars but the tools and all that stuff so yeah mm -hmm. and I love it when uh, people kind of get surprised in the comments they're like holy shit that's just a casual Hummer it's not that I I obviously I want to drive the Hummer but it's not just the fact that I want to drive the Hummer it's really really useful I mean if you look at it like I said it's like yeah. a small apartment inside Please. and only the back space is enough to fit most of my RC stuff normally taking one fifth scale RC car the large ones is like an adventure in any other car plus the remote the tools the fuel and etc but with this thing I can take multiple RC cars and multiple fifth scale cars and it's not a problem so I love it very useful very useful one thing before I let you guys go I wanted to say about the body I recommend with like fifth scale or any actually RC body that you want to bash not really like take out for racing or whatnot um, what I do is I apply like a very thick layer of clear coat underneath after painting that way um, no matter how hard you bash it no matter where you go it doesn't chip the paint from underneath the only downside to that is the body adds almost double the weight the original weight now if you're bashing that's irrelevant but if you're like racing or you have a local track where you're taking it very seriously obviously that's not the best way to go but I like to do it because it protects my body and protects my paint scheme that obviously we work hard on so just wanted to leave that on a note